pineapple, are you down to clean with me? Because I'm about to declutter some lipsticks. I am someone where I'm a creature of habit. I usually wear the same lipsticks over and over and I love discovering new ones and I find that I'm not able to wear the ones that I discover that I love because I just have so many lipsticks piling over each other. So let's declutter. Maybe head to your makeup section or whatever you personally need to declutter. Maybe you're going to wash some makeup brushes because you know they're dirty. You know they are. Mine are. So it's okay. We can feel guilty together. My lipsticks are in this drawer right here and we're going to start to declutter. What's cool is what I can do is take all of these out um, <laughs> take them out and we're going to declutter this whole section together. I'm just going to do this on the floor. Here are my toesies, but I won't, I won't be showing those. I don't show them for free. I actually got this new lip oil from NYX. This is actually a new product and I just put it, um, rude. Um, some of the products I already know I'm going to keep like all of my pixie. I truly love these liquid lipsticks. They're really good. Okay, I kind of laid out some lippies out right now. I have all of my NARS and my Pixie because I'm able to see the colors, which really helps me out. Now, I've been getting more creative with my looks, and I just want to make sure I don't get rid of stuff that I know I'll eventually use. Um, all my Pixie I'm keeping because it's a very good formula, and it never makes my lips chapped or peel. As far as, as, far as the NARS, I feel like... Some dark shades I should keep. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Um, I'm just going to have to go see. But this one's such a unique color, this brown, that I don't want to keep it out. These darker shades, like this one, I could probably get rid of because I can get this like in another uh, formula. I'm trying to get more creative with my makeup. So say, for instance, I don't have a black in anything else. So these ones are pretty much going to stay. Um, I did declutter this line already previously, but see like that chocolate brown, I don't have that in any other brand as well. So it's looking like all of these are going to stay, except this one, because this one I can definitely get like a berry shade in another one, and I never reach for this. And this isn't really um, the best staying power, it's the power mat. So I'm going to at least get rid of that. We'll set that aside. All of my Maybelline. Um, you guys already know I'm obsessed with this. The lifter gloss is a straight holy grail for me. If you guys want to know my favorite um, color, it is Reef. I've talked about it already before, but if you've ever thought about picking up the Fenty Beauty ones and you're on a budget and you don't know if you should splurge, don't splurge, just get these because these are amazing. I'm not going to say that they're not, but they're much pricier. And if they never, ever came out with this line and I knew about the Maybelline, I would never miss these. So, yeah, but they are a good formula. I'm not trying to knock it. It's great, but they are pricey. So there's definite alternatives. So these ones I'm definitely keeping. They came out with their candy collection. I have a video on the lip swatches. Um, you know what? I This is like the one product that I think I'm going to have to give it a try again is a Sigma lip oil. This one I'm going to set aside because I feel like I don't like this. So I need to test it out more. These Fenty glosses I'm going to keep. And then I just started really enjoying this one. And this, what formula is this? I don't know, but it's called Birthday Bestie. Oh, it's a Super Stay Matte Ink. And these really stay. At first I thought they were very uncomfortable, but they can be. I'm not going to lie. You want to make sure you exfoliate, but it's a good one. So we're gonna set all these aside. Okay, I have some color, uh, color pop fresh kiss. Uh, I'll keep this one because this is definitely a nude that I will use, and they're very comfortable. Let me swatch this one because maybe I'll keep. No, that's not really my favorite. Yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of this color pop shade right here. Keep these three colors right here, which is this pink one, this lighter cream, and then this more like nude. And I'm going to get rid of these colors because these kind of go, um, kind of look like my pixie ones, which I love that formula more. So I'm going to get rid of these four and keep these three. I have my Sigma and I'm mainly keeping these ones because these two, uh, because I love Alice in Wonderland. I love anything Disney. Uh, and then these ones I'll keep. I don't know if I have a repeat though, because if I do, then I'll get rid of one. Okay, no. Let's see if I'll keep this bronzy one. It's like with a shimmer. Ooh, there's a lot of shimmer in that. Do you see that? 
Wow, that's really reflective. Oh, and it's Cinderella. Okay, I'm gonna keep all of these colors. I've gone through those before. Mars and Too Faced. So the only Too Faced formula I really love is this. Their glitter, uh, well, not necessarily glitter, but their lip glosses, the plumper. I have nothing like this. Like, look at that pink holographic. That looks so cool. So I'm gonna keep these, and I think these feel really comfortable on the lips. My favorite one, I'll tell you right now, Glossy and Bossy. I use this all of the time, but it is a lip plumper. Um, as far as NARS, I'll probably get rid of this one because I don't see myself wearing that one. The gold one is definitely unique, so I'm gonna keep this one as a topper because it adds just the perfect amount of gold. And well, let's see how this Sigma, if this looks any different. I'll see. Oh, this, maybe this Sigma I can actually get rid of. It's not doing too much. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this Sigma one because it's not really giving that much gold. These two Buxom ones are new. Now I'm definitely leaning more towards glosses just because I feel like it looks so good on everybody's lips. It's just nice and plump. So all of these Lancome ones I really like. They changed their formula and they're so comfortable. Juicy Tubes used to be so sticky, so I'm keeping those ones. I'm definitely keeping this Dior because I totally forgot I bought this because it was just underneath all my lip products, which is the reason why I'm decluttering because I need to get my money's worth. Um, the Aaliyah one, I'm going to let go. Also, I can't believe the Back to Mac program is done. I'm pretty sure it's done by now. I'm pretty sad about it because I would save these all the time for one of my friends. They get to go shopping at Mac because both of those people love Mac. So I'm kind of bummed out about it. But I'm going to let the Aaliyah one go because I know I won't wear it. I found another color fresh, but this one is honestly way too light for me. So I'm just going to let that go. This NARS one, I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to see um, if someone else wants it. I bought this Tower 28. I totally forgot I got this one. So I'm going to keep it. Lena, I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to keep because this is one I used to wear. Oh my gosh, when I was literally a teenager and it's called Cultured. So it just like brings me back so many memories. I'm going to keep that one. I'm debating on the Selena collection. I just can't let it go. The Aladdin, I'm keeping. Selena, I'm keeping. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this Patrick Star one. Let me see. It is really pretty. Oh my gosh. But look at this Too Faced. It's so similar. The Too Faced has more glitter. Okay, I'm going to let this uh, Patrick Star one go. And I'm going to keep these ones. All of my Kylie uh, Cosmetic Liquid Lipsticks. And I bought all of these on sale. But you know, some of them smell bad already and some of them I haven't even used and they smell bad and I'm just gonna get rid of them. I have my Makeup Forever Liquid Lipsticks. This formula is so good. It's very comparable to, I would say the Pixie actually, but this is way more plush. So I'm keeping all four of these shades. I've decluttered those before. These vinyls, I love. They're nice and shiny and they last a long time from Maybelline. Look at this color for summer. It is just so bright and vibrant. Look at that cherry red. I love it. The one I'm gonna get rid of is this one because it just looks way too dusty. It is, it's one of these, but it looks way too dusty. So I'm gonna get rid of that and keep these three. For the Sigma oils, I'm gonna get rid of the brown tone one because I know I won't use it. I'll keep the clear one. Some days I just want a clear gloss. For the NARS, I'm probably going to get rid of this bronzy glow because it doesn't really do much. It just kind of has like a brown hue to it and I know I won't use it and my lips are already pigmented enough so I think it's just going to make them look dark brown. So I'll keep this one. I use this one randomly when I have like nothing on my lips and it's just like an easy to go little light pink balm. Keeping the soft mattes are amazing formula. Um, this NARS one is great and then these three YSL I'll keep. The red, a strawberry but they glide on like butter. These Revlon lipsticks are so nice. They were going viral on TikTok. The only thing I don't like is when you have to take off the label, it leaves so much gunk. I wish there was like better packaging, but this is like my favorite type of lip product. It's basically a balm and a gloss put together. So when you swipe it, you get really beautiful color, but it has that nice sheen. Look at all these swatches. This is wild. Oh, I swatched it. Uh, but this these three are really nice. I have a clear and also a coral shade right here Right there just very effortless like a really nice fun lip for summer this Marc Jacobs I'm gonna get rid of it's a brown. I already have a brown in one of the NARS shades at last I'm getting rid of all the Kylie ones as well I found this ColourPop glowing lip and I'm gonna keep it 
but I'm not gonna keep it in my makeup collection. It's this swatch right here, and it's just like a really nice, easy pink. And this is going to be a gym lipstick. Yes, I wear lipstick to the gym. Um, all of the collab, I just kept three last ones. I'm getting rid of these for sure. And then my Huda Beauty, it's swatched right here. It's like this matte kind of dusty pink, which I don't have, and it is so ultra pigmented. And I wanna get my money's worth. I bought this, I totally forgot, haven't used it. Um, this Culture one, um, it's not good. I remember keeping it because it had like a really cool packaging, but when you swatch it, Look, it's very, very patchy, if you can see that. And it's just, it's it's that they put more money into the packaging, if anything. These, I'm gonna get rid of. You know what's so funny is I feel like I really kept a lot of MAC lipsticks because I would give the packaging to my one friend so that they can do the back-to-back, -back. but now that they don't have that, let's go through these babies because, yeah, they gotta go. I found another glowy one. This one's like too light of a bubblegum pink for me, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna show you all the lipsticks I am keeping, and they are these ones right here. I ended up getting rid of almost the same amount. So these ones I'm keeping, they're really beautiful colors and they don't smell or are weird. And then these are all the ones I'm getting rid of. Yeah, all these are leaving. I just went through these lipsticks, and you guys, I'm telling you, Oh my gosh, the more the more I declutter, the more I'm like, what the hell? I haven't been using most of my stuff. Uh, so this lipstick I'm keeping, it's Virgo from the Sephora collection. It's my favorite. These Makeup Forever are really good. I totally forgot I bought these little Tarte sets. And these are really nice because like I said, I love like balmy, glossy lips. And these have so much pigment and they're super smooth. So I'm going to keep these because hello I haven't been using them. Laura Mercier are like a standard nude and pink which I love. Sorry these Urban Decay. I'm gonna get rid of this Laura Mercier stick because I remember like this collection supposed to be like a very effortless lip like a uh, quick on the go but I don't know I don't really see myself using that as well as this NARS one. Uh, this balm I'm just gonna let go it's pretty old but this line is really nice. Whoops. Uh, this Minnie Mouse, this is one of the Disney ones that I absolutely love, but it's so old. I don't even want to smell it. Um, Sephora collection I'm going to keep. I got that not too long ago. All of these Ferris Nudes from L'Oreal are super good. Uh, the Sigma Liquid Lipstick I'm going to let go. That one's old. And then I'm going to keep these uh, Urban Decay because I want to find dupes for them because I know I swatched some drugstore ones that are exactly like these. This one I'm going to let go because I don't know if you can tell, but it has completely come out. All of these NARS lipsticks I'm gonna keep. I actually decluttered a ton of them uh, probably last year and I probably got rid of like 15 NARS lipsticks. Now all of these I'm getting rid of. I know I have some of my Selena, but you know, I just know I won't use them. So I'm gonna see if my friends want them. This Morphe, it's just not a color for me. And I swatch these ones, not for me, those two as well. Um, here's another pure stick that's kind of similar to that Laura Mercier. I just know I won't use it, but I did find this Laura Mercier and it's more of like a pink tone and I feel like I would use this, oh sorry, would use this one. I'm gonna keep this because I actually collab with Wonder Kiss or Wonder Brow and it's such a cool concept because like you can put it on your lips and it gives you a tint and it will never leave. It is crazy. So I'm getting rid of all these keeping these. I got this off of Amazon. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but Ink Velvet 24. Um, I don't think I'm going to try any off-brand lipsticks anymore because the color definitely changed and this smells so bad and this is only a couple months old. So definitely be careful with that. These are the final ones I'll keep in my collection that I use. Um, this is my little Charlotte Tilbury that I got for points or my birthday, I believe. But yeah, Okay, now let's show you all my organization. So here is the grand finale. Here are all the lipsticks that I am keeping. I am so happy how much I got decluttered. I have space here. I honestly have space here. I just like have some lip glosses just laying down like the longer ones. So happy how it turned out. And let me show you all the lippies that I am getting rid of. Look at all these. I can't even believe how many I'm getting rid of. I, I thought it was gonna be maybe like 10 at most, at the most, and look at all this. Go oh, declutter your stuff. All right, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, did you declutter anything? And let me know what you want me to declutter, declutter next. I have eyeshadow palettes I definitely wanna declutter. And I don't know, maybe I'll do like a blush highlight and bronzer powder all in one. Let me know. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,